everyone. Welcome in. This is Marlene with the Room to Bloom. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to start out tonight just grabbing a positive message or positive quotation from this book by Linda P. Cohen. Just going to ask that Spirit uh, bless this reading as well, that we take a moment and thank the angels, guides, uh, ancestors, ascended masters for being here, Holy Spirit. And uh, let's just move forward with the message. Let's bring uh, through messages that are helpful, hopeful, and healing for the collective. What would you like to show us here? Okay. Okay, so I have two words. The first one is giving. In charity, there is no access. That's by Sir Francis Bacon. As the saying goes, give until it hurts. But true selfless giving of ourselves as well of our possessions should never hurt. The more we freely and willingly give to others, the more we give to ourselves. I will offer myself in some way that is helpful to others without resenting the time or effort it takes. The second, and that's dated January 28th. I do want to share the date because that could also mean something to you. Maybe it's your birth date. Um, maybe there's something, uh, you know, that date is coming up here. And so maybe you want to take that day and make that a day of giving, right? So acknowledging that. The second day is January 29th, and it is uh, the word is courage. Courage is doing what you're afraid to do. There can be no courage unless you are scared. That's by Eddie Red, Red, Rickenbacker. Some of us seem to never fe fear failure, but do we just hide our fear really well? Others of us acknowledge our fear even when doing so may feel embarrassing. We may be afraid of falling flat on our faces, but we stand up straight and we do our best. It's okay for me to be afraid. I can admit this to myself and to others and still tackle the things that frighten me. <laughs> um, I, I laugh because it's kind of like I'm on the other end of that and I'm so grateful because uh, early on in this journey for me, I had a lot of fear because I didn't understand this journey and all the stuff that I was experiencing. And um, yeah, there was just this like light bulb mo moment for myself where I had to really shift my perspective and take my power back based on what I was experiencing. And then there were a few different things that it would kind of creep up again, but it was like, nah, I just kind of reeled myself back in uh, because it you know, when you really get down to it, you either choose fear or love. And so it's like, no, I'm, I'm much stronger than this stuff that I'm, that I'm ex experiencing that I thought was happening to me, but it was happening for me. So very interesting when you start to look at it uh, from that perspective. So maybe on January 29th, maybe if you write a note on your calendar, courage. What will you need courage for on that day? What might you feel a tiny bit afraid of, right? Um, or push to do something you might not normally do. Like say you're at work and they're like, okay, you're going to handle this meeting or we need you to do a speech. <laughs> or, and, you, you know, that's not really your gig. But it's like you wouldn't have been chosen to do it if, somebody didn't think that you could handle it, right? And uh, it's, you know, when you choose to lead your life, it's also believing in yourself. It's believing in yourself, in your journey, and believing in God that you're all right. You've got this, right? Okay, so we're going to move forward with that. Keep those words in mind. Um, another thing, I went to a place this afternoon, and I... I Sometimes I bring my guitar and play, but today I didn't. And um, but I did bring some cards. I didn't, you know, say, "Hey, I'm doing readings." I I just did my own reading. But then there was, okay, this was kind of interesting. So, um, just as I flipped over this card and it said "love" on it, uh, this gal's phone started ringing very loudly. And I knew, like, I had heard the, the the song. There were no lyrics, but, but I didn't know the name of it. Anyway, it was from the Nutcracker, and it was something about the fairies, the song. 
And so this is like tapping into the fairy realm, um, which is very interesting because I, I've kind of had these interesting experiences. So, you know, without getting into that, that's why to start this reading out, oh, I thought, okay, you know, all right, let's see what happens. The, the, this deck is the Magical Messages uh, from the Fairies Oracle, and it's by Doreen Virtue. And I thought, you know, because um, if I am like doing a reading or whatever, whatever you're thinking about, if something happens, like a horn is going off in a parking lot, that is like confirmation. I get confirmations like all through, you know, um, our home. And it's, it, you know, so I get different um different confirmations in different ways so that when that when her phone went off that loud and I knew that song I knew that I had to ask because I knew it but I didn't know the name of it and I thought oh this has to do with this card because it was the timing was impeccable all right so um what messages do you have here for the collective that would be helpful hopeful and healing what would you like to show us okay Okay, the first one is perfect timing, right? So that was perfect timing that I flipped the card over and I got the notification, okay? So this is the right time for you to move forward. So what is it that you have been thinking about or possibly building or working on and, you know, um, or learning about, right? And then it's always like, I don't know if I'm ready, right? And we think that everything has to be perfect, which kind of reminds me of when someone... Like, say people get married and then they want a child, right? They think that everything's got to be perfect. You know, we got to have X number of dollars in the bank. We have to have our house done. We have to have everything perfectly, you know what I mean? And then, um, you know, maybe they're, in, you know, a month into their marriage and they're pregnant and they're like freaking out, right? <laughs> because what? It wasn't, you know, we're not ready. It's okay. It's okay. Because... This is the right time for you to move forward because it wouldn't have happened if it wasn't. It is trusting the divine timing. So another thing, like I said, you could be taking classes over and over and over and learning and learning and learning. But when do you step out? I mean, yes, true. Maybe you won't have every single answer as you move on. But you learn from those you work with. You learn from whether it's clients or customers because they ask you questions. And if you don't know the answer, just be honest with them and tell them, I don't know the answer, but I'm going to get the answer for you. Right? And they'll appreciate your integrity and honesty, too. So whatever it is you're working on, now is the perfect time. I do want to say that this card has stargazer lilies on it, five of them. So it could have to do something with floral, with literally the stars or astronomy, okay? Um, this gal is wearing a green dress. It's actually like turquoise, and it looks like she's swimming, but she's flying. So sometimes these cards have a combination of both. Um, so that is like representative of peacefulness and tranquility. So maybe that might be perfect time to go on a vacation, right? Take time for that. And the card is, I just have to hold it up. <clears throat> actually, I want to compare it to something it's blue yeah that's what i thought it's mostly blue okay even though it looks purplish blue i know but there is another card in here that's more purple so um it's representative of the throat chakra and if we move into the purple the third eye so so are you having visions about something you know oh you know i was gonna say you know oh with sugar plum fairies that's what it is i was gonna say sugar plum fairies dancing in your head Oh my gosh, that's so funny. That was the name of the song. So, um, that is so funny. Anyway, um, see, it always, you know, like, <laughs> like I'm always delighted too when this happens. But um, it is the perfect timing for something. So, go ahead and take the, take the leap and uh, go ahead and do something that you've been thinking about. Okay. The blue, though, represents speaking. So is there a conversation you want to have with something? It, 
to someone? Is there something you want to say somewhere? Okay, the next card is Healing Healed Healer. Healing energy surrounds you and this situation. Okay, very beautiful card. See how that's more, that's purple. So looking at the two colors, yeah, this is the purple one, the other one's blue. Okay, so there's a situation going on, but you can trust that you are healing at this time, you are being healed, and that you are a healer, okay? Um, so thinking about, do people come near you, uh, come close into your energy? Do you go somewhere and people want to be around you? Um, just being aware of that, and it might be the perfect time to step into your healing gifts, okay? okay. And that purple, again, is the third eye, and um, trusting, it's about intuition, so trusting your intuition with that. Debt paid off. The old weight and habit of debt is lifted from you and your life. Well, that feels awesome, doesn't it? <laughs> Gotta love that. And um, because, you know, that can weigh heavy on you. Um, if you have been carrying a lot of debt and that um, maybe moving into this healer position will help that, that your debt will be paid off so that you can just move forward with ease and open up like a, a place to work or whatever works, you know, for you. Oh, this was, this is like a whole bunch of them here, so I'm not going to take them. Oh, what happened? I put them in here the wrong direction. Okay, let's keep shuffling. Okay, I have connect with nature. You're rejuvenated and inspired by spending time outdoors. I'm sorry. You're rejuvenated and, insp and inspired by spending time outdoors. So if you can get outside, um, you know, taking an opportunity, uh, even, you know, whatever, even if it's 10, 15 minutes, if you don't have a, a, a if you don't feel like you have a lot of time or the weather is varying or whatever, but it can absolutely help ground you so that you um, feel more centered, especially if you're feeling scattered or kind of all over the board. Um, and it can, and, and then it will kind of help like draw your energy into your center and then uh, get help you get your thoughts more focused. And it recharges your batteries. Like here it says, you're rejuvenated. Your thoughts, you know, your energy kind of comes together. And then you are inspired. All right, what else would you like to show us? Pregnancy. Just gave that example, right? <laughs> the birth of a child brings great blessings to you and to the world. I feel so excited about that. That brings me great joy. So, um, yeah, so that was exactly the example that I gave. Um, so I will say the birth of, here it says the birth of a child brings great blessings. The camera shut off. So anyway, the, the birth of a child brings great blessings to you and the world. So, um, sometimes in the spiritual journey, um, we can look at the birthing of what might be a child to us, the birthing of a new adventure, a new business, a new relationship, right? We're birthing something new that we've been creating. And so it brings blessings to you and to the world. So great news. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to take some cards here from the writer tarot deck. <laughs> Let's see what else you'd like to show us. Yeah. <laughs> what would you like to show us? I'm sorry, I'm giggling because I'm getting a message from the side of the box, but it's a personal message, so I'll just let it be. Okay, the first one, yes, is the Nine of Pentacles. So this perfect timing card is like, it falls under the perfect timing. This is the right time to move forward. You'll be strong in your pentacles. You'll be able to just enjoy your life. This is the perfect time to enjoy your life. Enjoy what you have worked for is what it's saying. 
Okay, then we have the Nine of Swords. So this is the Dark Knight of the Soul. Been going through something, but here it says you're healing, healed, and or, you know, a healer, right? So healing and energy surrounds you, even if you are going through this Dark Knight of the Soul where you're having maybe a hard time sleeping, just things going on in your experience. What else would you like to show us here? Ooh, interesting. So um, under the debt paid off, it shows here the debt paid off. Interesting because it says the devil card, which can be like uh, things that tempt us. It can be addictions, things like that. So it's like, um, I, you know, I, this is not like a way that I generally talk, but it, it, because of the way that this is falling out, even if you had a debt with the devil is what I'm trying to say. That debt is paid off with the devil. It's done, right? No more. It's like being being forgiven and loved in, in the body of Christ. So that is like really, really, really beautiful, right? Oh, I feel really moved by that. Okay. The next one is... Ooh, this is the Eight of Swords. So this is about a self-imposed prison that you have been in. And it could have been about this situation, about addictions or whatever was going on. Um, but now the debt is being paid off. And with you to connect with uh, nature, you'll come out of the self-imposed prison and you're going to feel in re rejuvenated and inspired by tent spending time outdoors. And it doesn't always just happen in one time. It takes a little a little bit more, so trying to get outside more to help work through and release all of that, right? That energy that you are carrying around. And feel free to take um, spiritual baths, do do different things to clear your energy field. And praying, you know, ask for clearing, uh, help clearing your chakras and your energy field from Archangel Metatron. Okay, the next one is temperance, and this is falling under the pregnancy card. So this is about balance and having patience and harmony. So um, this is like filling, filling, you know, kind of like one another's cup, even though it's, you know, just one person standing here. Okay, and then under clarification, under the perfect time, we've got the sun. I did say maybe going even on vacation. Um, but this is the sun is like a very joyful deck or joyful card in the deck and it's perfect time to just enjoy yourself is what this is saying the next one is the knight of pentacles this is a slow moving knight who um, generally has an offer um, coming in with finances and um, regarding finances um, or who brings in an offer of stability right um, What else would you like to show us here? Could be a Knight of Pentacles that has um, kind of put you in the dark night of the soul situation that you are healing from too. Okay, the next one is the Star card. So interesting. And that is the card of healing. And it falls under the debt is paid off from the devil because you are You've healed, like you're healing, right, from this situation. You are a star. Your debt is paid off. What else would you like to show us here? Yeah, ooh, this is the Ten of Pentacles. Very lovely, connecting with nature. So very abundant. Once you um, can get out of this Eight of Swords energy, so spend time in nature and see that you are very abundant indeed, okay? All right, what else would you like to show us here? Okay, this is the Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands is an energy that's fast moving. Um, somebody who has ideas, creativity, um, a romantic partner. So, you, you know, you could be pregnant with a Knight of Wands energy, um, but having patience and harmony with this person. The outcome here is a celebration. Three of Cups is like a wedding, a birth, 
um, anniversary, something like that. So that is the outcome of this. And underneath here, we have the Queen of Cups. So that's the energy is of the subconscious, someone who is very loving, nurturing, kind, wise, um, embodies, um, embodies that. So like even, even the embodiment of like motherly energy. So uh, very nice reading. I think I'm just going to wrap this up. And I want to say thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great evening. Bye.